Like Jesus, February 18. God's law, important for all time. Now therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. This covenant, Exodus chapter 19, verse 1 to 6, is a revelation of God's goodness. The people had not sought for it. They were not reaching out their hands after God. But He Himself graciously extended His almighty arm, inviting them to link their arm with His, that He might be their defense. He voluntarily chose as his heritage a nation that had just come from Egyptian slavery, a people who must be educated and trained at every step. What an impression and omnipotent goodness of love! Over and over again, the Lord permitted his people to be brought into straight places, that in their deliverance he might reveal his mercy and his goodness. If they now choose to disbelieve him, they must doubt the evidence of their own eyes. They had had unmistakable proof that he was a living God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Exodus chapter 34 verse 6. He had honored Israel in the sight of all the heavenly intelligences. He brought them unto himself into covenant revelation and communion with him. The children of Israel had been three months on their journey from Egypt and were now camped before Mount Sinai, where in awful grandeur the Lord spoke his law. He did not manifest himself in grand buildings made with human hands, the structures of human device. He revealed his glory in a high mountain, a temple of his own creation. The top of Mount Sinai rose above all others in a range of mountains in the barren desert. This mountain God chose as a place where He would make Himself known to His people. He appeared to them in awful grandeur and spoke in audible voice. He there revealed Himself to His people as He never has at any other time, thereby showing the importance of the law for all ages. God is particular today that we keep His commandments. Manuscript Releases, Volume 1, page 105-106. This ends the portion reading for To Be Like Jesus, The Blessings of Obedience, February 18.